It's Spata Brand. Hi guys, welcome to Bathtub Brand. Hi Brand, how are you doing? Are you comfy? Yeah, <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for uh, sharing our bathtub. Okay, so can we go over the timeline again? Imagine you just got here at <laughs> like an hour. <laughs> okay, so in 1989, September 3rd, yeah. I'm the one with the dates, Karen and I got married. Okay. So we are in a 25th marriage anniversary. And in 1990, mm -hmm. July, we formed Tasia to Dance. So within that very first year, we got married and formed our company. But you knew each other before you got married. Well, of course. How did you meet? So uh. Karen and I met in 1981. I was at the School of the Toronto Dance Theatre. Karen was at York University. Mm -hmm. And we both got hired to do this professional we were already in warm-up and I just saw this beautiful creature walk in and I just went over I didn't even know her name and I started dancing with her and that's how Karen and I met. But what yes. I remember about that time is Alan's orange Corolla. My Toyota Corolla and lift that. that wherever I was there was this like orange in a Corolla. Way. How did you have a car as a dance student? You lived in this car. I lived in my car. You actually lived in it? I actually lived out of my car in the parking lot of York University until they threatened to tow my car with me in it. <laughs> Actually? <laughs> yeah! I never graduated from a school of Toronto Dance Theatre. Yeah, you got kicked out. I did. Dude, you got naked on stage. Yes! I stripped on stage. Tell a story. Here's this young upstart, this kid, basically, choreographing, creating his own company, touring. I was already touring. And, um, and so when I came back and my show was in April, and the STDT show was in May, and in that one month, they felt that I had a, this is what I found out much later, mm -hmm. really bad influence on the kids. And so they basically, the writing was on the wall, they started removing me from pieces, da da da. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was in David Earl's Ray Charles suite. Yeah. And so I was supposed to have the closing night, the Saturday night solo. Mm -hmm. And uh, on dress rehearsal, they say to me, Alan, we're giving the solo to Ian. And uh, I knew the writing was on the wall. And so Saturday night, that particular section was about two thirds of the way through the piece. I went running into the change room. If your said, story's really long, I'm gonna get really drunk. Yeah, wrap, wrap it up. <laughs> wrap, it up. I'm, I'm, wrap it up. Wrap it up, Alan. Just about there. I said, Ian, you'll never guess what happened. They gave me the solo back. <clears throat> and Ian's looking at me horrified. He says, nobody told me. <laughs> so I went up and in my solo, it was 36 bars of improvisation. I walked out onto the stage and the first four bars combed my hair. I had hair back then. Yeah. And uh, then I stripped. <laughs> On Monday, I went into the school and I was told never enter this building again. And now you teach there. Yes, unbelievable. Really, when I finished York University, though I was in love with dancing, I moved to New York to see if I really wanted to be a dancer. Mm -hmm. I knew I wouldn't make money. I'd be like flitting about and working for companies for free, as you do there in New York. Mm -hmm. But I started a business mm -hmm. called Dreamers. 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 <laughs> so I developed this business and I bought fabric and I would um, make night shirts and then I started, everyone started wanting them oh. and Alan would join me and we'd go to different craft shows and tour. That was our first touring gig. It was like touring the craft night circuit. shirts. Yeah. Like, and it all started because I lived in Montreal and it was fucking freezing. <laughs> we were in the house and Alan's like, I'm oh, freezing. I said, I'm going to make you a night shirt. Yes. We were in our courtship. Right? Yeah. Have you heard that word in the last 20 years? No. <laughs> it's an old word. In a Jane yeah. Austen album, maybe. <laughs> totally, totally. Totally 1600s. Right? Yeah, yeah. We met Whoa. in 16... 1600. Yeah, 1692. Oh, I yeah, it was, it was February. That was a good year. <laughs> yeah, it was excellent. When, when we were in Venezuela, Karen almost ripped her big toe off. Right. They, instead of pulling the nails out of the, the floor before they laid down the marley, they just tried to nail it down. So it was actually sticking up like this. That's why, partially, a lot of our works from what year to what year were in shoes. Because oh, of my... That was a little fast. Yeah, from the old country, country basically. Can you guys give advice to young dancers? What I would say is take up on the opportunities when you have a professional come in and work. Hang out with them, go out for coffee, talk to them, mm -hmm. ask them questions. Volunteer. Yeah. Because honestly, totally. every professional that walks into the class a potential. is an yeah. underlying, giving, generous.
person mm -hmm. and they want to see movement in the dance community. Mm -hmm. They want to see people move forward. But, but also I say give it seven years. Seven. Like commit yourself That's for seven odd. years. If you commit, if you give your full power and energy and focus to one single form, it will follow you the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. like you've committed, you've given it all. Yeah. You've done everything you've you do. cannot lose from doing that. Will we see both of your works in the yes, show? Yes, you will. Well, Karen's piece is called Taxi. Okay. And mine is called Point Zero. Okay, it's <laughs> March 24th to 28th. March so 24th to 28th. That's yeah, Tuesday through Saturday at the On Wave Theater. Ooh, yeah. No, not On Wave, sorry. The Harborfront. Start Center. again! Sorry about that. One hour, one hour. Uh, it's a Harborfront <laughs> Center Theater. Cheers. Cheers. To 25 years? 25. Cheers. This is an occasion. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate. <laughs> mm -hmm.